Hey, what up, fellas? We out here at the jetties, and it's freaking crazy out here, man. One of the calmest days. Look at that water. It's just glass out there. We're here near Corpus Christi. It's one of the windiest cities in the U.S., and there's absolutely nothing. Just completely still today. No swell either. Look at it. Look at it. Looks like you can go out there and walk on it. I've been thinking there should be some crazy stuff happening, especially because we got crazy conditions, man. Super slick out there, some nice water. So we're back. We got our tarpon lures just in case. You know, they're probably not gonna bite regardless, but if there's nothing else big, we're going in hard for those tarpon. See if we can get one bite. <laughs> He's not jumping though. Come on, come on. Me? Come on. I'm coming, bro. They're biting today? Did you catch any yet? Yeah, lots of red. Okay. Man, there's a monster king jumping out there. Oh, that's good. Damn, dude, he just got blown up. I thought that was a king. 50, 60 pounds. Oh, damn, these freaking tarpon are just insane. Insanely annoying. Well, shoot. This is not a bad thing to walk up to. Oh, man, what was that? Holy cow. Oh no. Dude, there's some stuff way. What the hell is going on? There's stuff way out there. What is that? I don't know. Holy. Dude, there's a hundred something out there. What in the world is that? Fin after fin after fin popping up way out there. Oh, something just got chased big out there. They're not even moving fast. They're just chilling kind of on top. And look at that freaking tarpon right there. We got, finally got a pair of spikes. We're gonna be trying them out. I've been using them a little bit. There's pros and cons to them for sure. I do like running around the jetties and it does not feel good running around with spikes on. We've already lost a couple spikes on the bottom too, but man, you do get the grip on that mossy stuff on the rock, so pretty important for landing fish on those rocks without dying. Dude. Oh, I do have it. What the? I do, I do. Oh, there's a something. There's a something. Probably a jack right next to the... We lost it. Dude, I might, that might have been a big trout I had on. Like a giant. Disagree with me, boys. Disagree with me on that one, all right? Don't question it. There you go. <laughs> is it a mullet? Oh, what? Is that a tarpon? No. Trash fish. Isn't that insane? Just right there, man. Just right there. You would think, just cast a lure at him and you catch him, but nope. Kings? Oh my god, I'm getting aerial. Way out there though. I'm not exactly reaching them. Oh, maybe I am. Feels like a nice redfish. I don't think so. It's on the X wrap though, so. Ooh, maybe it is. Yeah, it might be. Can I go under you? Nice, right when I take off the... Thank you. I don't know, maybe it's a red. Could be anything, could be anything. It's a king. Yo, it's a decent one. Yeah. No way, dude. This is why you throw the extra hat, boys. Dude, it's not half bad. He didn't fight good, though. Wow, it is a nice one. Are you gonna keep him? You want him? Yeah, I'll keep him. You have a gaff? Uh, I'll grab him. We don't need gaff. <laughs> Alright. What caliber you got on there? This is 60. 
mono. If he pops off, don't worry about it. Man, that's not a bad one. He didn't he didn't rip though. Kinda of weird. I got the fish grips right. Oh you got the grip? Yeah. Kinda of hard. Careful those teeth though. This is his first oh look, look at my, look at There you go. Look at my living room. Look at my Some messing with it? If it wasn't for those hooks, I got it. I got it. Okay. Give me a minute. You gotta be kidding me. He's a, wasn't he's a crazy guy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out for those. I got, I'm old, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You don't have to do that. I but, usually grab him by the gills. Yeah, he could have done it better with the lures. Yeah, you don't want to mess with those trebles, huh? Dang, no way. Not, I don't want them. Not a bad first catch. Yeah, X wrap. The classic. Yeah, that's good. Uh, not as big as I thought. Never done before. We're about to weigh a jetty kingfish. <laughs> let me get, let me get my estimate. Where's it at, Mike? I give it a 20, 21. <laughs> it's gonna be like 13. Uh, yeah, 30. I got 21. Oh, I don't even need to lift it. 32. You guys are crazy. 19. <laughs> I told you, dude. Never weigh them. Don't oh, weigh fish. Right? Do not ever weigh fish. What? That's like bass have been caught that big. 19. Sad days. <laughs> I would have said 30, though. <laughs> I'll take that. Check it out, fellas. There he is, man. This is the guy we've been coming for the last last two days. All I wanted to do was catch a nice kingfish, and we got one right there. Dang redfish have been getting in the way, <laughs> even when we're throwing the X wrap. So I'm happy to get this guy. Very, very happy. All right, we're gonna try something a little bit different with this with this kingfish today. We're gonna try and see if we can just fillet the whole thing up. Usually I stake them up and then fillet the tail end of it, but we're just gonna try and fillet the whole thing. Will it work? I, I honestly don't know. We're about to find out. And you guys are kind of keen on my flaying skills at this point, so you know. I'm not the best in the world, but we, we're gonna try. That's a crazy little slab of meat on there. Hmm. Interesting. Oof. Oh my God, that's so much meat. I've come to the bold conclusion that that probably is not the best way to fillet, uh, you know, a decent sized kingfish. I have actually done it on a very, a pretty small kingfish, worked out fine, but on a medium or big guy, I don't, I don't think that's the way. If you ever catch me on a video giving you advice about how to fillet fish. All right, fellas, the kingfish cooking saga continues right now, and we're at the finale. We're doing the last thing you can possibly do to figure out if kingfish is actually a tasty fish to eat. Unseasoned kingfish. We're gonna be taking one piece of that kingfish, adding nothing to it besides heat, and we're gonna see if it's actually, you know, a decent eating fish. So far in the unseasoned series, we've done trout, redfish, and sheep's head. Trout and sheep's head, very good. Trout and sheep's head were equally excellent, I would say, and the redfish, Still good, but not as good. Now let's see where the kingfish is gonna rank up on that scale. And we're also gonna cook some of that kingfish with, you know, some seasoning on it. Too. All right, for the seasoned portion of our kingfish, we're gonna be going with a lime marinated kingfish along with some nice vegetable kebabs. We're gonna start off with our marinade here and we're gonna see how much juice we get out of these three limes. Roll them up, baby, roll them up. Juicy. Next up, some simple olive oil in the marinade. Gotta have a little bit of garlic in there as well. Let's see how good we can chop them up. Now we add a little bit of my man cayenne right into the marinade. Let's go with a lot as usual. You know me, a little even more even. Let's, let's be real. Salt. And of course, some black pepper. All right, we got our fish in the marinade. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. You don't wanna let it go too long because it does have a lot of that lime juice in there, which does 
have the ceviche effect on it. But, but, while, but while this is in the fridge, we're gonna be starting up the grill. That's fire right there, baby. We got the fire going. <laughs> All right, the fire is firing up. Now we just need to finish our marinade for the vegetable kebabs. It's actually gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna have a lot of cayenne. Be sure of that. Olive oil, baby. You gotta use it. You gotta have it. Cayenne, my man. Paprika, a little bit of paprika, not too crazy. Pepper. Just a little bit of salt. And even a little bit of chili powder. And our, veg and our vegetables of choice are gonna be uh, orange bell pepper, onion, yellow squash, and some nice tiny tomatoes that are super tasty. All right, so here's the play. We have our skewers, which we did have soaking for about 15 minutes in water. Just because we are gonna be putting them on the grill, you don't want them to burn up. So we're just gonna take our vegetables, dip it in our little marinade. I guess it's not really even a marinade. We're just gonna dip them in it and put them on the skewer and then put them on the grill. Get in there. All right, fellas, it's done. We got the kingfish finished up on the grill. Just finish it off with a little bit of parsley on top. What we're really waiting for is the unseasoned kingfish. It's looking pretty, pretty cute right there on this little plate. All right, let's just see what it tastes like. Completely unseasoned kingfish. Hmm. Hmm, dude, I actually thought I legitimately thought it was gonna be really bad. And the weird thing is it kind of tastes like, kind of, <laughs> kind of tastes like chicken <laughs> with a little bit different texture. Really interesting, dude. I thought it was gonna be fishy for sure. Now in Kingfish, there is different parts. Some parts taste better than the other. Some parts have a little bit more connective tissue. This is one of the better parts of the fish to eat. And it just, not too bad. I did get a, a tiny, tiny bit of fishiness, just so you know it is fish at the end, but really not bad at all. I would rank this, it's not, it's the trout, the unseasoned trout, it just tasted really good. It had a little bit of a nutty taste to it, a little bit of a sweet taste, and it was just good all by itself. And the sheep's head as well, it was just also really good all by itself. This is definitely better than the redfish. Now obviously I think it would be on a fish by fish basis. They might taste a little bit different from each other depending where they come from and what they're eating. But this kingfish I would say is definitely better than the redfish. Interesting, a little bit interesting, huh? Oh. Yep. Really good. Hmm. The good thing about kingfish too is there's a lot of meat. You can get kind of, you can get some more hearty chunks out of it. And look how it, look how it kind of flakes up like that. It makes it really nice to eat. You know what I should have done is added a little bit more lime zest on top of the fish after it was done, but uh, we're already sitting down, so I ain't getting up. <laughs> 